Alrighty guys, here's a little 1998 Windmere Mall DF-7A. I got this the same time I got that whole big lot of fans. This and the little Windmere NR7 came from the same thrift store. They were right next to each other on the same shelf. This little fan's in mint condition. It's pretty much, I think it's brand new actually. Although the motor was seized when I got it, so I only paid like a dollar for it or something really cheap. Because it didn't run at all. Like, it spun like about this fast on high and on low it didn't spin at all. I don't know why it was like that. Maybe it sat in a really hot place and all the oil completely dried up and it just got stuck. Anyway, I threw some oil in it. Had to throw some grease in the oscillator because the oscillator was acting up too after I oiled it. But after all that stuff, it's good to go. It's got a bunch of sticky stuff on the base that was on there when I got it. Haven't gotten around to goo gawning it yet. Side of it. This is a really, really strange looking fan. Here's the back. This would have been second to the last model of this 7 inch wind mirror. There was one more after this one. And it would have had the same grill as the Windmere NR7 that I have does. That would say Windmere right there. And it would have had the newest Windmere logo. Anyway, I'm done talking. Let's go ahead and start this thing up on low. Okay, strange knob. This one, unlike the Windmere NR7, doesn't have to warm up or nothing. It runs perfect even when it's cold. This fan's got a very restrictive grill on it, though. It doesn't move much air because of that. It does move good air, don't get me wrong. It moves pretty good air still. The grill just restricts it a lot, because I did run it with the grill off. And with the grill off, this fan really moves a lot of air for its size. Alright, let's go ahead and kick it up to high. Runs pretty quick too. And on high it moves a lot of air. Even with the grill on. Imagine how it is with the grill off. It's really, really powerful. Let's go back down to the low. Put that on. Also, it kind of makes a little scrape noise when it gets all the way like here. I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not. It's a good running fan though. I don't think I'll be using this one, but I am going to keep it around. Don't see very many of these newest wind mirrors like this one. See lots of the old ones though. I see tons of those around here. I usually get them too. I gave two of them to fellow YouTube user Rusty Bearing45, and then I kept two of them for myself. See, I just figured I'd get a video of this little fan because I know it's a pretty interesting fan to me, anyways. I really do like Windmere fans, and I have a large number of them as well. I have quite a few. I have two 12-inch table fans, a 16-inch. Used to have a stand fan, too, but that thing died years ago. And then I got four of these 7-inch oscillators, and a 6-inch, too. And I think a 4-inch somewhere. But that's it for this video, so thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed.